The rational and decisive INTJ mastermind strategizes life the way one strategizes a chess game. Nearly every foreseeable and unforeseeable action has been calculated to guarantee the most efficient way of reaching their ultimate goal. Their minds easily string together a step-by-step -step course of action, each task in proper chronological order. And of course, they never proceed without alternate courses of action. When strategizing, they will consider any idea that could be useful. As their plans unfold and their theories are tested, they keep only ideas that promise swift success of their ultimate goal. Masterminds see grit, intelligence, and ingenuity as the keys to triumph. They welcome problems as challenges to find an inspired solution. As the most independent of all the personalities, these decisive rationals prefer to make choices quickly by themselves. If they think a decision is right, who cares what others say? In their minds, order can always be enhanced. If a celebrity or valued professional endorses a catchy idea or system, so what? What matters is that the INTJ finds it logical. You'll find these self-assured people, the most self-assured of all the personalities in fact, thriving in careers where ideas for new systems can become reality, such as research, technology, and business. Even when not in prominent positions, INTJs will organize info and personnel if their job allows even the smallest chance to do so. Masterminds often spend long hours at work, assuming it suits their talents and interests. Morning, ma'am. Private and focused, they would rather work behind the scenes than in the spotlight. However, they make fair and skilled leaders when they feel they must lead. Eventually, many of them do find themselves rising high in a company thanks to their willingness to spare no effort in advancing their organization. Their allegiance lies with the company, not with individuals within it. Co-workers may keep their distance from a mastermind. INTJs may communicate dissatisfaction, criticism, and coldness. They can indeed become so focused on an objective that they ignore other people's input and feelings. But despite their intimidating aura, they often don't mean to send negative signals. They simply aim to complete tasks and ask that you work diligently too, period. Masterminds prefer to motivate employees through positive, albeit blunt, feedback. No time to dwell on past mistakes, better to focus on the future. Working relationships may be easier for them than purely social ones, as they often apply their calculating minds to every interaction. Few other personalities oh, apply us. logical analysis to nearly every area of life. So other types often see INTJs as icy, cynical, unreadable, and even rude. Masterminds tend to consider most people dull and undriven when compared to ideal companions of like mind, who are often difficult to find. Small customs that smooth social interactions often seem trivial to them. Okay, I'm gonna go. It was so nice talking to you. Bye-bye. They rarely like physical touch except with a few loved ones of their choosing. But once a mastermind opens up to you, you may come to appreciate their unorthodox style of humor and sarcastic, maybe even dark, charm. INTJs often date with their head, not heart, interviewing dates by their own checklist of practical must-haves. Common checklist items include independent and able to function both as a spouse and an individual, confident and smart enough to hold their own around an INTJ's intense personality, a desire, or at least the ability to discuss abstract topics, loyal to the marriage and family, in agreement or at least respectful of their core values. Masterminds may drop dates abruptly because they quickly sense whether someone has the traits they require. Don't expect them to waste time on someone they already decided against.
but once an INTJ finds the worthy one, expect them to show a devoted and deeply romantic side. Their steely exterior melts away to reveal their sensitive nature only around those they truly trust, admire, and wish to impress. Their children are their pride and joy. Expect masterminds to support their kids through any circumstance, although they do promote independence in thought and action, much the way they themselves live life. When children do need discipline, INTJs firmly guide them back toward healthy, rational behavior. INTJ kids often enjoy solitude or the company of just a few like-minded friends. People are a hassle, so better to spend time on education, skills, and accomplishments. People skills may not become important to them until later in life. Hey, you are coming with the crew and me to the new thing. If they do work on people skills, it's often because they discover the power of a team in furthering their goals. Checkmate. Avoid small talk. Talk about complex, abstract topics. In general, INTJs prefer talking about what's happening in their head, not heart, but they can handle emotional topics for short periods, especially if expressed in as rational a way as possible. Plan for the future, don't dwell on the past. If you bring up the past, do so to glean lessons from it that can be applied to the future. Back up your ideas and actions with objective reasons. And be thorough, don't expect them to support a half-baked or irrational plan. If you have a specific question, statement, or suggestion, get to the point quickly and clearly. Give them time to ponder by themselves after giving them a question, new idea, or any other complex info that takes processing. Expect them to challenge you. They thrive on analyzing logic and considering all possibilities. Check. On the job, show true competency. Degrees and titles don't impress them much. If you have that stuff, good for you. Now let's see what you can really do. Don't give masterminds advice they didn't ask for. Their plans are often quite intricate and it would waste precious time to fully explain them. They would rather execute a plan than discuss it. But don't assume they don't have an efficient plan just because they don't talk about it. INTJs won't like you forcing a suggestion that interferes with their long-term strategy. Expect trouble if you purposely do something to throw off their plan. Avoid micromanaging. They'll ask for follow-up or assistance if they need it. But they are masters at planning and problem-solving. Once you thoroughly explain a task, leave them to it. Thanks for watching! I hope you better understand your INTJ loved ones and that you keep living nothing less than your best life.